Hey there, Maria Kappa here, Nassim Certified Personal Trainer as well as a Star Diamond Coach with Team Beachbody. And I am also an admitted clinical binge eater. Um, and I'm coming to you today with a little bit of a different video. I had told myself the last time that I had binge, which I guess was a few weeks ago at this point, that um, the next time it happened, I was going to kind of document the way that I was feeling right afterwards, more so as a tool for myself um, to remember those feelings and maybe keep me from having uh, another binge. So uh, here I am, and this is my video. Um, obviously, that means that I did have a binge. So um, I just wanted to document what happened, um, why I think it happened, and how I'm feeling. So um, I am in the process of prepping for bikini competition, and I'm doing really, really well. Um, so I know that I'm strong, and I know that I have willpower. I mean, I just sat in TGI Fridays with my family and watched them having chicken fingers and hamburgers and french fries and everything while I just had water because it wasn't time for me to eat. Um, so I know that I have the willpower, but um, as anybody who suffers from binging knows that it could be the stupidest thing that can set you off. And once it starts, it's very, very difficult to stop. So my son's been asking me for Rice Krispie treats. So I made them for him. And um, I don't know what it was um, that, that set me off. At that time, um, I can say that from the competition preparation that I'm doing, my cycle has been totally thrown off, um, probably because of the dramatic changes in my body. So I've been suffering with PMS type symptoms for weeks now, and there's no relief from it. Um, so part of me says maybe that's it, and then the other part of me says maybe I'm just making excuses, and maybe you know it was just time for me to have another binge. But anyway, I, I made the Rice Krispie treats, and I ate one, which was really not a big deal except that I then went on to have four bowls of Rice Krispies with milk. And hearing myself say that and thinking back to it, I'm like, wow, that's you know really not such a big deal. I've been known to do way more damage and way less time on one of my binges. So um, the only thing that stopped me was my four-year-old daughter, who in my feeding frenzy, I didn't even stop to notice that she was standing there watching me, probably in disbelief. Um, but she finally said to me, mommy why do you just keep eating that and i just looked at her and said i don't know a i don't know why and i didn't have an answer but um she was there to kind of trigger something and i'm going to say holy cow you know what are you doing um i'm normally a closet binger i think most people probably are so nobody's really ever there to tell me like holy cow girl could you stop yourself so she did that for me all right, so um, so here's the raw emotion. Here's how I'm feeling afterwards. Aside of the physical discomfort of gorging myself, and then my stomach is totally stretched. I feel bloated and um, miserable, and of course, you know, body image starts to come in, and I feel like fat, and I just want to put on some big clothes and cover myself up. And um, but more than that, um, it, I feel like a hypocrite which is really a very, very, very big deal for me because ever since I became a coach, I was always very adamant that, you know, I couldn't tell people to do something that I wasn't doing myself. So um, I take what I do very seriously, and right now I feel, I feel guilty. I feel like a hypocrite. I feel like I'm telling people not to do that, and here I am doing it. Um, I feel weak. I feel like, you know, I, I had no control. Um, I feel like a failure that I've been working so hard for this competition and now it's seven and a half weeks away and I feel like I just took this huge step backwards. Um, and I feel like I'm sending my daughter these mixed signals about, you know, mommy's dieting, mommy's losing weight, and then mommy's eating four bowls of cereal one right after the other. So um, I have some issues with that as well. So I, I'm feeling very emotional. I could probably cry right now at the drop of a hat, which really isn't like me, but again, that could be the PMS, it could be the binging, who knows. Um, but I do, I feel very emotional, I feel very sad, I feel, um, I just feel terrible, and I also feel like I have to do better. I, I know that I have to do better, and um, as elementary as it sounds, and you know, I think it's time to pull out the little star chart and just, um, you know, in the beginning, start with, you know, star for every meal that I have successfully on time and the foods that I'm supposed to eat and then eventually you work up and you give yourself a star for, you know, doing a whole day and 
you know, I'd like to say that I'm going to have a star from now until every day up re leading up to my show. So, um, you know, that's what I'm going to work on for myself. Um, this isn't a pity video. You know, I'm not looking for people to come and say, oh, it's okay. Everybody does it. You know, this is, um, it's a big issue for me. It always has been. Um, I kind of joke around and say that if I didn't despise vomiting so much, I would probably be bulimic. Um, but for me, ever since I was about 15 years old, it was um, binging and starvation. Um, that was my way of, you know, maintaining a decent weight, but still being able to do this. And I, and I really need to break that cycle, especially when it comes to my daughter seeing what I'm doing. So I need to do better. Um, and I'm going to start right now. And, um, you know, if, if you understand what I'm going through, if you have the same feelings, um, if you have no clue what I'm talking about and you want some more information, um, if you have some suggestions on how to stop a binge before it starts, Please leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks so much. Have a great day.